<laughs> What's up garden friends? How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I am great. Got a great big pile of succulents over here. These were mostly clearance. One of them was like a hanging basket thing I got for 15 bucks at Home Depot. You can see here they're potted up fairly improperly I should say. What I mean is the soil they're in not great. Not from my climate. Not from my watering habits. The, they would just rot crazy crazy fast. So what I'm doing with those is I am using them to plant up this lovely little clam planter. And there's unfortunately not a lot to say about it other than that because not a single one of these succulents has a label or anything. So I'm just, you know, gonna toss them in here and make it look nice. I can already tell that I've put way too much soil in here to start with. I don't normally wear gloves. I like the way the soil feels on my hands. I have something I have to do right after this and I don't wanna have to like clean the dirt out from under my nails. Yeah, there's way too much soil in here. I'll make sure to go through, pull out any dead or rotting leaves just to help give things a better start. And great, now I'm just gonna go ahead and start planting up. Quick, simple, very crowded. I know this is stuffed full, but that's okay. I kind of wanted to go for that instant gratification thing. And some of these will be coming out of here. Like th over here, there is a Crassula. This is a tricolor jade. And there's another one in the back here. And then I poked one up in the front just so I can watch it a little bit more closely. Once those look like they're starting to take off and do better, because they were looking pretty shabby when I grabbed them, I'm gonna lift those out. And then this Aeonium in the middle, this is a Aeonium Arboreum Quark Top, I believe. And that should, I mean, not should, what it will do, and not too long will start to come up above everything just a little bit. And it'll be like a cute little succulent tree growing above everything. Just, you know, like probably right about up here. I typically have always felt inclined when I've done these clam planters in the past to put a Sen SEO or some sort of trailer coming out every single one of those scalloped edges, but I decided I didn't think it was necessary this time. And that is partially because I only had the one, obviously. But sometimes when I've done that before, it ends up being a little bit too much and you kind of lose the effect of the clam. Because once this fills out, if you have it in every single one of those little scalloped divots that are in there, it eventually sort of overcrowds everything, hides it, it masks that this is a clam. It already gets kind of hard to tell when it's set up all the way. You guys like my lovely professional setup I've got going on out here? It's just, it's the beginning of the year. I haven't got things set up for filming yet, I'm sorry. There are even some focusing difficulties when I was putting this together because this table's very springy, this lovely, lovely rusty outdoor table. Outdoor, I don't know about that. But hey, it was on clearance, so sometimes you just, you know, you work with what you got. Like I said, the plants that are in here, they were not labeled. I know about the Aeonium. The Aeonium is a guess that it's a cork top, but it is a uh, Arboreum for sure. The tricolor jades, there really aren't many jades that look like that one, so that's pretty easy to go by. But everything else, other than like the Senecio Rolianius, this is a string of pearls. Other than that, you know, I don't like to give a name to something if it doesn't have a tag. And I probably should have mentioned before, there is a drainage hole in the bottom of this. I use a cactus and succulent mix in here. It's nice and sandy. It looks very dark because it's wet. I tried to film this yesterday, it just started pouring out of absolutely nowhere. So the soil got wet, but that's all right. I just, I won't water it in right now. I'll wait and let that dry out a little bit and then water it in. And I also did amend that soil with just a teeny, teeny tiny bit of Espoma Biotone starter to help get things going in the soil and help get those roots off into nice active growth. Just, you know, quick, fun, easy. That's what I was going for. Just wanted to come outside, do some planting, have some fun with the succulents. And I like how it turned out. I think it looks good. I will like it a little bit more when these guys get a little bit taller here in the middle. I pretty sure I have those about centered. It's hard to tell. That's one thing I really enjoy about succulent arrangements that sometimes I get really bogged down trying to get symmetry and things. Succulents are more worried about things like height and width and whatnot as opposed to them looking symmetrical. I mean, sometimes you can do that and it looks great, but with something like this, I want it to be erratic and I want it to just look lush and full and vibrant. I'm not going to be watering this very often because succulents, they'll make sure they get part sun, well, really more part shade 
for right now when the weather's cooler, they'll be all right with some part sun. So what I mean by that is they'll be getting probably about four hours of sun in the morning and then it's gonna be filtered throughout the rest of the day, but they'll still get like dappled light through the leaves of the trees where I'll be putting it. I'd like to go put it there now, but I got ahead of myself. The area they're going in still needs a little bit of tidying. There's just some like old grass that needs to be cut out and whatnot. So for now, I'm gonna leave it over here and actually that's because I'm under my table right now and I do want this to dry out because it's supposed to rain quite a bit today. So I'm gonna keep this under the umbrella, let it dry out and I'll place it hopefully by the vlog coming up this weekend. By the time the vlog comes out, that's what I mean. And then as far as like all of the swell and everything that's in there, typically I would use a brush or even just like my breath and kind of puff blow it out of there. It's just because things are damp, the soil's kind of sticking to the foliage a little bit and some of these have that epic cuticular wax, that powdery coating. I don't want to rub that off, so I'm gonna let them dry out and then I'll go ahead and get that stuff off there. It'll look a lot more tidy and clean when I have that done. Overall, I really like how it came out and really love that I was able to do this with pretty much all clearance plants. I really can't count the cot of the, the cot. I can't count the cost of the pot because I don't remember how much it cost when I got that a year or so ago. But everything else is in here. I think it came out to like maybe 20 bucks, $25. That's pretty good considering these are some decent sized succulents and they look pretty nice considering they're on clearance. Oh wait, hold on. I paid full price for that one. So <laughs> never mind. It's like, what, $36 probably because that was a $12.99 plant but everything else in here clearance i love that hey you know what though that's gonna do it just quick and simple felt like planting something up and hanging out with everybody and talking in the comments down below and speaking of which don't forget to comment down below say hello i love talking to everybody all my social media is linked down there i use instagram far more than anything else so follow me and i'll follow you back that we can look at each other's pictures and be plant nerds together and if you haven't and would like to don't forget to give the video a thumbs up it makes a big difference for the channel i do appreciate it subscribe as well hit that notification bell that way you know new videos come out because i do upload multiple times a week i'm super excited this is just the beginning there are so many more fun planters to come the spring is just getting started i hope everybody's doing well having a great day and excellent life and everything's just going beautifully for you and of course as always and most importantly everybody Keep on growing. Bye-bye.